Greetings and salivations. I am Umfoth Neverborn, the abyss that slumbers, and you are listening to 1488 Keck FM. As World War meme grinds on, we'd like to periodically pause to take a retroactive look at the campaigns and battles fought by our brave Kekistani warriors who toil on the front lines without food, supplies, shelter, memes, or even thanks. Tonight, we highlight Mr. Gurr. Mr. Gurr has been fighting a guerrilla war deep in enemy territory. With little or no training or support, he continues to fight the good fight. But the question is, who is Mr. Gurr? Hello, it's me, Mr. Gurr. We know that a year ago, Mr. Gurr took up arms in World War Meme when he first heard the call for justice. When he saw the video... 36 questions women had for men. He could not help but be outraged at his oppressors. Why do you have to sit with your legs so wide open? Who the fuck are you to tell someone how to sit? And secondly, balls. On February 28th, Mr. Gurr uploaded his answers to 36 questions and in doing so took the first step to recognizing his Kekistani heritage. It was several months before his next video Again, a video so insanely stupid as to demand his response. When she found happiness, it gave me hope, you know? And then it all ended. Wait one second. Commander Alexa, as in from the 100. A video about dead lesbian TV characters. You're having a fucking laugh, right? After that, he tried his hand to parody. Why do you always use statistics to win an argument? Why do you have to use data? Why do you think facts mean more than my feelings? What's wrong with the phrase, kill all men? It's time to stop labelling people who's killed innocent civilians as terrorists. Allah Akbar! God bless those peace-loving Muslims who's never said boo to a goose! Don't you understand that the MRA movement is the work of the devil? Why do you have to man spread? I mean, don't you you having your balls on an excuse because I had mine removed? What makes you think that you can detect to her that she can't sleep with other men? That's misogyny, possessive and downright creepy. For God's sakes, it's the current year! Why do you literally want to throw disabled people down the stairs? What makes you think that someone who's just stepped out of college with a gender study degree wouldn't be good for a job as a CEO for a large multinational company? Why do you think giving someone a compliment is acceptable? It's wrong, creepy, and sexual harassment. His humour and willingness to experiment was shining through. We see an improvement in his haircut. Let's just get on with the mind-numbing stupidity of BuzzFeed. What's the deal with Santa? So breaking the entering is okay as long as it's a chubby white dude. Holy fucking shit. Is this the best question you could think of? You're gonna stop asking me if I pray five times a day. Nobody cares how many times a day you talk to your imaginary friend. Why must you put bacon in everything? Because bacon. Bacon infused donuts? Come on now. Yes, because bacon. Is this water safe to drink? There's bacon in this water, huh? Yes, there is bacon in the water. This is followed by a video to explain why he had his channel at all. That was until I saw the Thunderfoot video tearing Anita Sarkeesian's viewpoints to shreds. That was what opened my eyes to what feminism had become. A very dangerous ideology spearheaded by some pretty disgusting individuals that had absolutely no problems telling outright lies to help push their own agendas. However, it isn't until the video regarding Antifa where he finally seems to recognize his heritage and joins the nation of cat. Oh, Mr. Gurr here. I'm experimenting with a different graphic look for now, as you can see, uh, since my camera is fucked and I don't have the funds to get it replaced. Dear Antifa Pussies and all the cunts that support such a vile group, I've seen you for what you really are for years now. I'm sure that when you first formed, you had the best intentions. But like all collective ideologies, shit went sour, to put it mildly. Just like Hitler probably had the best intentions to, dare I say it, make Germany great again. 
Back then, the country was on its knees after losing the First World War. But to create a hero, there must always be a villain. And Hitler chose the Jews to be Germany's new villain. And obviously we know how that turned out in the end. Fast forward to the current year, and I see the hard left doing exactly the same thing. You have created a villain to fight against where there really isn't one. And we come to his latest video posted almost one year after his first, showing that even though his output is slow, he works hard and tirelessly to make sure that his reactions and comments to other videos are well researched and thought out. Because lawmakers in North Dakota are introducing legislation that would protect drivers who hit and kill protesters in the streets. They're making it legal to kill protesters. The careful choice of words didn't go unnoticed. You make it sound like they're trying to make it legal for drivers to mount the curb and mow over pedestrians on the path if they're protesting peacefully. Which is clearly not the case. A Kekistani warrior like Mr. Gurr shows his dedication to the cause. He embodies the very virtues that every Kekistani should embody. A thirst for the truth and enough humility to learn from it. It is for this reason that we here at 1488 Kek FM salute Mr. Gurr for his one-man war against SJWs, regressive liberals, and radical feminists. And while we know corporate Gurr is currently far behind enemy lines and thus unable to currently make an appearance, the Kekistani government in exile is making it known that he has been awarded the Kekistani Copper Star of Valor, as well as a field promotion to lieutenant. I'm afraid we have no troops to spare at this moment, but as soon as they become available, reinforcements will be sent to fortify your position. But for now, we hope that it is enough that you know you have the Kekistani's people's eternal gratitude. Kekistani salute!